Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial, I'll show you how to write a job scheduler in Node.js application. Yes, friend, there are various scenarios where we require a job scheduler to perform a certain jobs at a regular interval at a specific time. So how to do that, how to create such application, how to create such jobs in Node.js. So stay tuned, it is going to be very, very exciting and informative tutorial today. I'll teach you step by step. How can you write a cron job, cron scheduler in Node.js? Right friends? And I'll explain this to you with a real world example. Okay, friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow our code one digest family. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Okay, friends. So let's start with the code implementation of Chrome job, job scheduler in Node.js. I'll straight away take you to my package.json where I'll be showing you what all dependency you need to create a job scheduler. Okay, so if you see in the dependency section, I have express. This is required to create any web application. And this is the main important module, the important package that I'm using node cron 3.0.2, which is help us in creating a job scheduler. It is help us in creating a cron job and I'll explain you the cron expression. What is the meaning of cron expression? How can you run the job at different different interval as per your requirement? Right friend. Okay, friend. So now let me take you to the very first example of our job scheduler. Let me show you my index.javascript file. So if you see the very first line, I am loading a cron from a node cron module, right? and then express just to start my application on a certain port then i am just getting a app constant from express and this is the important piece of code where i am defining a job cron.schedule and in this schedule function it takes cron expression as an input and next variable is what task we want to perform so that goes into a next variable so if you see this cron expression this is saying that repeat this job at every 10 second. As I shown you, this job is going to run at every 10 second. Let's understand how this cron expressions are formed. Let me show you that. So if you see here in this cron expression, we have six placeholders, okay? And they represent different time intervals. So if you see the very first asterisk, this represents the seconds. So it's represent zero to 59 second, that at which particular second, we want to run this job. Then second asterisk represents the minute that which minute of an hour we want to run this job. At a specific minute, we want to run this job or every few minutes we want to run this job so that we do that. Now, the third asterisk is for hours. So at which hour of a day we want to run this job. So this will tell me which hour of a day we want to run this job at every four hours, every two hours or or particular specific hours that every three o'clock, every four o'clock I want to run the job. Then fourth asterisk is for the day of the month. So which day of a month I want to run this, run this job. So let's say if I want to run this job on the first of every month, so it will be represented first. Or if I want to run this job at every fourth day or every second day or every alternate day. So I can write that expression here accordingly right friend and if i want to run it on every day then it will be asterisk asterisk means every day every hour every minute and this is every second so asterisk means at every occasion at every interval so if we don't give a value then it will assume that it is for every day it is for every day every hour every minute and every second but if we define a value then it will run at a specific time then we have fifth asterisk is for the month. So which month of a year? So if we don't give any value, if we say asterisk, that means it is running it every month 
right friends so if i'll say run it only in february so i can write february or i run it every alternate month so i can write that expression accordingly here and then the last one is day of the week if i want to run a specific day of the week and it it starts from sunday right friend so it takes the number as an input and it this shows the particular day of the week so remember first is second an asterisk means at every second second is minute an asterisk means every minute third is hour hour of the day fourth is day of the month fifth is month of the year and sixth is day of the week right friend this is how we create if we come back to our example so we are saying a strict by 10 that means i want to run this job at every 10 second slash is to represent every okay so a strict by 10 means i am saying run this job at every 10 second same expression i can write at minute level same expression i can use it at hour level and so on so i will i would say run it at every 10 minute or i would say every 10 hour 4 hour so i will be using this kind of expression so friends i have created a complete playlist and tutorial on the cron expression and job scheduler if you want to learn the detail of cron expression how to form a different different intervals using this cron expression with a combination of the six asterisks then please go and watch this video it is a detailed explanation of cron expression the link is there on your screen and also given in the description section of this tutorial you will be able to learn how to write a different cron expression as per your requirement right friends so go and watch that tutorial it is very very useful to write a cron expression so now once you are clear with the cron expression then we will have to run this job at every interval as per the cron expression hence this job will run at every 10 second and what are we doing in this job this is just a dummy job i am printing it this two line so i am just printing this two line every 10 second my job scheduler will print these two statements at every 10 second that running the task at every 10 second let me do that let me show you by running this and we'll see how it is behaving okay friends so now i have opened a console and i'm in that job scheduler project so what we have to do is we'll just run node index dot js so if you see it says started scheduler app at port 3000 and every 10 second it is it will print these two lines running task at every 10 second yes so it has printed two times now it will print third time so it will print this statements every 10 second got it okay friends so i'm stopping this so likewise you can put any job that you want to perform at regular interval through a job scheduler now i have another example to show you i have created another example for a job scheduler let me show you that so if you see this is system scheduler where i am printing the statistics of my machine of my resources okay so if you see in this method i am reading the memory usage and i am finding out how much free memory i have in my system and then finally i am printing the date the memory usage that means the used heap used memory and the free memory okay so this i am printing it here as a percentage so how much free memory is available to me as a percentage so that i am printing it here so these three things i am printing it at every 10 seconds so if you see this is the node cron dot schedule again i am using a scheduler here node cron dot schedule and running it at every 10 second and calling this print system resource utilization function in this job scheduler so this is my job scheduler and we can perform any job any activity that we want to i am so i am calling this function and this function is doing nothing but the printing and logging the system status okay friends so let me do that let me run this and show you node system right so now i'll run this and we'll see if it is able to start 
So it says printing system resource utilization every 10 second. And if you see it has printed the status first time, it is printing the date, then used heap that is 10.18 and 51% is free memory. Right friends? Likewise, the second statement, second job it has printed. Third job it has printed. Right? So it is saying how much memory, heap memory it is used and how much memory is available. So that percentage I am printing. Likewise, you can perform any job like we see as a requirement of transferring data every day at certain time from one place to other place. So you can write a node application job scheduler where you will be calling those function who is transporting or transferring the data from one database to other database. There are many scenarios in an in IT industry where we need the job scheduler for the monitoring purpose, for sending emails, for transferring data and so on. So all of that happens through this kind of job schedulers. So you can write your own job schedulers in Node.js and they will trigger at a specific time on a specific day on, on a specific month. They will do that job automatically for you at regular interval. Right friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, so do subscribe to our channel to grow Code1.js family. Thank you. Oh, wow. That is really, that's amazing. Friends, the code is provided in my GitHub repository. The link is given on your screen. You can download the code and play with it. You can simply clone the project and run it in your local. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code1 Digest family. Please subscribe to Code1 Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.